this has turned from Cat Island Explorer to rescue the cats. Yeah. We must feed the cats. Yeah, we should. We've got six tins of tuna. That's not going to be enough. Well, for real, let's find a whole bunch of cats, see if, if there's like a group hanging. That's it. <laughs> Dude. He smells it, he smells it. You want to pour it out, bro, so they all get it. Some of them had to eat. They're fighting for it, but we saved them. Oh my god, maybe I should pour it out. Yeah, you should, bro. Grab it. Okay. I can't, dude, they're fighting for it. I can't even. I'm scared to grab the can. What is up, explorers? Today we are heading to Cat Island. Now, there's like three cat islands in all of Japan, so in today's video, we're going to an island called Tashirohama. Now, this is the most widely known uh, cat island and probably the most popular one, and it has the most cats. There's more cats than people on this island. There's about 700 to 1,000 cats, and there's only like 30 people living on this island. And what's interesting is the reason why all these cats came to the island is because back in the day, they were used for farmers to protect the, their crops from like silkworms and uh, reduce the mouse population. So I'm super excited and I've been wanting to go to Cat Island from the last two previous times I've been to Japan and I never got to go. I if it's careful but it's like it's like some sort of like fish or uh, meat but like dude they're gonna eat this. I, I'm gonna get this for them. Yeah how are you gonna feed a thousand cats with two tins? It's gonna work. I, it is fish. This, they're, gonna, they're gonna be arguing. That's, two that's fine but I got, I got some. You're gonna cause like mass riots on the island. <laughs> uh, ferry port to Cat Island. Bolt. <laughs> Uh, oh. Tashiruma. Tashirojima. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ano, uh, Tashirojima. Yep. There. Yes. So guys, what's the hard about this is that there's a language barrier as soon as you leave like into the rural areas of Japan. Uh, but yo, if you can just point, use Google Maps or something, everybody will understand. But uh, we're heading up to the boat and there's a boat at 9 a.m. There's also boats at 12 and 3. So you don't want to be late, you don't want to miss them. And it can be hard to understand, so you have to make sure you look online, find some websites. Just trying to make it work, guys. But we're making it work. All right, I got the gazelles. All right. All right, let's make it. So right here is actually where we're staying, guys. To get to the island, you have to go. You have to be here. And it's funny because look at it. It says Sea Cat, Sea Cat, and it gives you the time of the boat. And it's really easy. You just go to this menu right here, and you can just switch it into English. So it wasn't confusing at all. And then you just leave this area, and then you have the ferry port. It makes it really easy, which is right here. And just tell the taxi guy you want to go to the ferry port. Yeah, you think that's our boat? I hope so. Let's just get on it now, just in case. Guys, mind you, I only bought a one-way ticket because I don't know which port I'm leaving from. There's two ports on the island. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. That looks like a UFO. Well, we're off now. It takes about 45 minutes to get to the island. So we're just gonna sit and chill. Yo guys, the waves are so big. You can get like some air time. Everyone's going crazy over it. Watch this, actually one's coming up right now. Alright guys, the adventure begins. We're on Cat Island. I just seriously messed up. This Two ports on the island for the Cat Island. And I thought it was going to go to one port and then take us to the other port where all the cats mostly are. So I sat on the boat and then I, I literally dead ass thought that this was the island. But it skipped the port and went to this island. Another island that I know nothing about and I'm stranded here for like two hours. And the last uh, boat leaving from Cat Island is at 5 p.m. And it's already 12 by the time we get to the island, so I'm only gonna have like four hours to film Cat Island now, when we should have had seven hours to film Cat Island. And this is not Cat Island. I don't know what this is. Like, I'm not here to swim or see these gooses, which is still cool, some nice floats. But this is not Cat Island, and this whole video is about Cat Island, and I'm stuck on another island. Dan, what are we doing? I don't know. I, I have no words, Josh. You know, I always trust your judgment, and you don't. You normally always lead us through, but this time, you really messed up. I I'm stranded on this island now. I did mess up. I seriously messed up. I mean, we're stranded on an island, and this island has like, this, I don't know what this is. We're just stuck here. I, I don't know what's over. Yeah. 
So we didn't find a cat, but we found <laughs> this. And this is what's on the island right now. We met this cool guy who's showing us around. <laughs> We're keeping busy for a minute. One hour left. Just hit. Oh, okay, small. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Huh? <laughs> that is nice. Bro, I hope this goes to Cat Island. We're back. This is uh, take two. Hoping this gets us to Cat Island because we were really screwed on that one. Let's see what happens. If you ever end up in the same situation I was just in, look for this. That's how you know you made it. And it's on the port, so it stops you right here. Dan, so what's the first cat we see? I don't see any cats here. Are we on the right island? I, I hope we are. Okay, there is a cat shrine. Why do they say that? They are they feeding that? human food or feeding cat food to them to harm their health. Well, that's good to know. I mean, I did buy some food. I don't know if I should give it to them now. I mean, unless they look completely hungry, like they want food, I'll give them some. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't really know. I used to have three cats before. Just saying. Okay, so first stop, we found some cats. There's two or three cats there. We find one over here. But it looks really skinny, though. Let's check him out. Here he is. The first cat we see. I'm going to call him Oreo. Oh, that cat is actually really skinny. Oh, he doesn't like us. He's skinny, man. You can see an indent in him. I don't know if you can touch him or not. He looks like he's even looking for food. This turn, this is turned from Cat Island Explorer to rescue the cats. Yeah. We must feed the cats. Yeah, we should. We've got six tins of tuna. That's not going to be enough. Well, for real, let's find a whole bunch of cats, see if, if there's like a group hanging. I feel bad for him. Yeah, I feel bad too. Well, maybe we should whip one out. There's a lot of people that stare at us. I wonder if that'd be bad if we whipped yeah, out. Yeah, not yet. Let's let's not let's, let's not um, hero uncover yet. our plan yet. True, true. Now we'll go over here and see the other cats. Go, go, cat, cat, cat. What's up? Dude, they don't like us. You know what it is? They see so much humans all day, they don't even care about us. Uh, he seems nice though. Oh, they're oh a little cat fight. squad here in the village four just posted up this is their street He smells it, he smells it. You want to pour it out, bro, so they all get it. Dude, they got it, they got it. See, they needed to eat. Some of them had to eat. They're fighting for it, but we saved them. Oh my god, maybe I should pour it out. Yeah, you should, bro. Grab it. Okay. I can't, dude, they're fighting for it. I can't even, I'm scared to grab the can. Right, right. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. But they're eating now. Dude, but dude, look how hungry they are. Like they were so hungry for sure. But apparently they were being fed, but I don't I don't think they were. I mean how I mean can the island really feed all the cats at once? This off his head. Okay. Sorry about that, kitty. I did not mean that. Okay, good. Oh Okay, we're good. This is actually awesome. I love being here. <laughs> All right, explorers, I feel like I did a really good deed. I mean, we just fed one, two, three, four, five cats today that were really hungry. And again, there's so many more cats. So we're gonna go to another big group of cats and drop one of the tin cans down again and keep feeding some cats, but never overfed them. This was five cats uh, per can, so that's good. It's not like we're overfeeding one cat, giving them a whole can of food to get them fat. I think this was perfect. Again, they look hungry. I'm pretty sure they are hungry. We're gonna keep roaming the island. We're just here in this random village. It's the only village on the island, I think. Oh no, there's two, but this is like the bigger one. And there's still no sign of civilization, but it's fun to just walk around here. Came up to this uh, little sign. We can go get some original goods here and the cat shrines that way. So they have signs everywhere to lead you places. We're gonna head to the original goods first. What are they saying here? These are like the top five photos of the year. I think it's like a comic book fun. Oh no, no I, it's, it's this not. is at the cat shrine stuff. 
It's like good. I don't, I don't know. We have to go find the cat shrine though. So we just found a random uh, cat calf. Look at that. That's uh, supposed to be like a uh, rice and curry. Don't think I'm eating anything though, but I'm just gonna walk in here. Cat stuff is everywhere. So we just walked into the cat cafe, went further past all the photos, and look what we find here. We found... <laughs> we find cats here in the cafe, of course. And you can get your own Cat Island t-shirt. We need one. It is really cool though. Oh, you can get stuff for your cats, I think. Oh no, it's a, oh, it's a, it's a pouch. <laughs> I almost thought it was like pants. I was going to dress my cow up then. <laughs> uh, I really, really, really like these though. It seems like they're building something or it's just to stop waves from coming in here. But over here we just secretly found Manga Island. It says camp. We're following it up here. See where it leads. There's really just tons of little alleyways all around this little village. Uh, woo! We're going into a seclusion area. Oh. That we might have to go up, but I don't know. I really don't I don't know what's up there. Yeah, yeah, spiders are big. I'm just curious what this is. I'm loving the stones though. The shrines, look at the temple. So if you're wondering what was up that dark path, it's said to like another shrine, but it wasn't really a cat shrine or anything like that. And I'm trying to relate this as much time as we do have here on the cat in the cat area. But it, it didn't look like amazingly cool, but it did look okay. Yeah, look at this. These guys got like kitten toys. <laughs> They're playing with like the stick on the ball, a yarn ball. It's a jungle out there. Dude, damn, this really is bamboo forest. You want to go in? No. <laughs> no, spiders. Too many. I'm getting good views right here. Yeah, Maybe me too. Bamboo is a torture device. Oh, back in the day? Yeah, yeah they used to whack people and everything with them, No, right? no, because it grows so fast. What they would do is they would strap someone down on the floor, put bamboo underneath them, and it would grow, because it grows so fast, it would grow through them slowly, penetrating the body, and they'd still be alive for a long time, and it'd just grow out of them, one side to the other. Never knew that. Yo, explorers, we just found abandoned houses here. Look at that one, that one's actually really falling apart. You can't even see it, yeah, straight up, camouflage. This might be an abandoned house too. This cat's scared of us, he had his eyes. <laughs> He's actually not as skinny as the other ones. You think this is someone's, yeah, this is someone's house. Damn, put your head in there, man. <laughs> Always have to stop and pet the cats everywhere we go here. Dan wants to feed this cat really bad because it's so skinny. It's super skinny. I mean, it really is super skinny, guys. Like, I mean, look how you can grip them like that. Yeah. Oh, he must smell it because I can smell it. Come on. Oh no, I've got tuna stuff on. They're going to be following me around. I've got tuna on my bag. <laughs> kitty, kitty! He's hungry! <laughs> He's hungry! You did a good deed, Dan. You did a really good deed. <laughs> I was like, wait, this is great. 
Finally, we found the cat shrine. And to top it off, this actual <laughs> cat's here, of course, which uh, Dan's talking to. But then you got actual like little knickknacks and stuff. It's really, it's really cool. I love this. Cause you even got the bell. <laughs> but coming up to it, I, it's just awesome. It's like a little cat house with like cat knickknacks. Amazing. I love this. You even got Hello Kitty ones. Seems uh, there's a fork in the road. Three ways. I have to read the sign, I guess. Normally, my sign would be, I'm obsessed with Halloween, so I see that there's a crossroads. So normally, you would come to here for a, a wish where you trade your soul to the crossroads of demons. Just saying. Oh no, I don't think we should do that, bro. Yeah, but where are we going? I don't know. Hang on. Well, we did the cat shrine. Okay, let's go here. Oh, Darmory. That is the first stop, the first port that when the first original boat I was on stopped at. But I was like, oh, it's okay, it's gonna stop at the next one. But it never did. So we're gonna finally see this little uh, area, check it out. And then we're gonna go to a place called Manga Island. That's back at the uh, way beginning where we first got here. So guys, we made it to the port and there's really nothing here, but I did see this. This random secret kind of shrine vibe. Brings you all the way up the mountain. I'm gonna check that out. Now I did say I wanna work out. That is like a 90 degree straight up stairway. <laughs> Are you gonna wait here, Dan? I'm coming, I guess. Dude, seriously, this is like straight up. I love it. Siege! <sighs> Woo! And you even got rails for this one, because how straight up it goes. All right. It's like a broken down shrine, Shinto. Look at that, but look at these. Look at the art on that. Wood carved dragon, I love that. Ugh. You think we're gonna live forever now? If it's not broken, it's holding apart inside. Yeah. The mechanism, first one inside. Even right here too. Yeah, we could go. I think we could go inside. Well, I'm not gonna like. Uh, let's see. I'm freaked out. Dude, this I feel like I'm in Spirit Away now. I can't even see in there. It's so dark. Dude, it is actually really cool in there, though. We found this cat rambling that came out of the woods. But something's wrong with him or something. Come on, here you go. Like he won't move and... I don't know. We got food good. for him. There you go. Yeah, I thought you might move now. There you go. But something's wrong with this guy. He's mowing like crazy. Unless he just wanted attention, but... This guy was like... Really, like, seemed like something was good. He was like in the bushes, just looking for stuff. He now earned our trust. And we earned his trust. I think he likes us a lot. Yeah, Though he's sick or something, he I'll does like us. Home. I think we should. Do you think we could sneak him? I think we take him on the plane. I mean, I've snuck bigger across. Guys, comment below if we should take him and sneak him on the plane. <laughs> I got the gazamas. <laughs> You think he'll follow us? I don't think so. No, he's happy now. He's in a better place. Yeah, he's cleaning himself. <laughs> he is a good guy. I like him a lot. He's my favorite one. Our next stop right now is currently Manga Island. A bit of a walk still. We already walked back from the port. 20 minutes of walking. See, so cats just laying around everywhere we go. Oh, little gangs over here. One cat up there, one laying down, and one in the middle of the road. Again, Cat Island for you. This is amazing. This is Manga Island. It's just a bunch of cat houses. Almost has like a Nintendo style to it. Look at this.
Now, I don't actually know what's in here. Oh, just like guest houses where you sleep. Oh, that's awesome. That's a good business. <laughs> and here's how it looks like inside. Just a big room. After a long day of filming, this is what happens. He's been slatched out here for the last 30 minutes. I'm not, I, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I didn't just film this on and be like, yo, get on the ground for the shot. This is how it been. You know, we walk around this whole entire island on foot the whole entire day. It was a really good day and this is, I, I love it. I love these kind of days when you work really hard, explore, have great fun. Uh, didn't have any great food yet, but I'm still working on that. But overall, really cool day. I highly recommend coming here because it really is Cat Island. Like I heard there's other Cat Islands, but they don't have as many cats. And you can clearly see in our video, you'll find cats everywhere. So. I'd say come here if you have the time. Obviously, if you're in Tokyo for a few days and you want to spare a day, it's possible, but it will cost a lot of money. I'm not exactly sure how much. But anyways, guys, I had a, I had a lot of fun, and I'm gonna wait another hour before the train up, <laughs> before the bus comes. So I'm gonna end the video here. Make sure you check out the merch you guys already know. And uh, yeah, rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching.